it sees a lot of skill set improvements. Through the consultation process, things become far more flexible because of the involvement and factors in increased uh, engagement levels, there's higher motivation. The higher degree of commitment actually results in greater productivity. The productivity automatically manifests itself into customer satisfaction. And as soon as that happens, there are fiscal benefits that flow in. Net-net, what you realize is by tweaking those systems within and trying to figure out from all those three levels whether things are being effected in a proper way or not, a competitive edge can be brought out within the system through the people. Now, and this is a phenomenal competency for the simple manner, be it any organization, and if it's on a service or a product platform, their actual product or service is very much in the open to be replicated. But when you drive the human capital up to a higher degree of skill set and productivity, that's very difficult to match up by competition. And when this is done in a continuum, it starts reaping rewards and there is sustained profits. The way the whole thing adds up is how it is given here. The people management and framework described actually goes on to effect perceived non-financial performance first. That in its state, you know, like a domino effect, you know, gives a positive impact on perceived financial performance and until the financial performance itself has a better standing. Some of the impact factors as we had uh, discussed previously are given here. It's the left hand side are all these, all these small little uh, things which come up as a result of these perceived financial factors. On the side, on the right side, you'll find the financial factors which are ultimately affected. But moreover, and most importantly, the organization is able to turn itself into an effective change agent. And because of that, any changes, in external environment changes, is adopted and uh, you know, countered internally to be able to provide a sustained growth and improve profits. So as a summary, what we've seen here is that while we need to recognize that people are the greatest assets in any organization, we have to make a transition from a transaction level task bound employee engagement to a holistic human capital development and management method. It needs to be simple yet powerful. It needs to, it will automatically engage people increase motivation, it will definitely create happier employees and in its, through its linkages ultimately create effective change agents, continuous improvements and sustained growth. Thank you. I'll pass over uh, the presentation to Maureen now. Thank you so much uh, Amit. I'm going to uh put you on hold and I'm going to make uh, Maureen the next presenter.